Hello everyone, my name is Piero San Giorgio. I usually don't do much uh, videos in English, but today I, uh, I have something fantastic that I'm using and I want to share with you. You may or may not know, but I'm the author of several books about uh, surviving the economic collapse, surviving uh, chemical, bacteriological, radiological and nuclear issues. And this was out in 2016. This is the English version. Great book. And uh, as you know, the problem that we may have with nuclear or radiological issues, such as uh, a nuclear plant going bang or a nuclear war, and as we know, in the last 18 months, since 2022, we've been uh, at the highest level of alert since the Cuban crisis of 63. So it is something, or was it 62? I'm sorry. And the, the, um, the problem with, with nuclear and radiological issues is that you don't really know if it hits you or where it happens. So sure, if, if there is an announcement saying, okay, there's a nuclear war with Russia or with China, you go into your shelter or whatever, and then you come out after the proverbial two weeks because you can't stand the people you're with, and then what? How do you know there are radiation? So, of course, we have these um, Geiger counters, you know, that's those tools you put on stuff. And I've used one in Chernobyl when I visited and they go did -did 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 when, when you are hitting some radiological source of, uh, of contamination. But what if there is a second strike and a third strike? What if the government doesn't, don't, don't tell you there's been a war or there's, there's been an accident or there's been some spills? You want to know for yourself. So you need to have a dosimeter. Now, we've had for years these Geiger counters and these dosimeters. There's the Chinese, not the Chinese one, the Japanese ones, which are really good. The uh, Russian ones, which are really good. And you could find these online pretty easily. They're less easy to find now. However, a few, a few years back, I was checking some tools and I do on my French. This channel is mostly in French. Um, for my audience, a lot of a lot of presentation of, to, of 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 material of tools, and I did present some tools from this American company. I think they're out of Texas, called Mira Systems, and they had some, and they still have. They sell very very good uh, gas masks and uh, protection equipment. And um, I saw recently that they had this uh, Geiger uh, dosimeter counter called the Mira Geiger Two. This one. And I bought, I bought one to try it. And first of all, it comes out very neat in a box. It has instructions which are good for a four-year-old, which is good for me. Very simple, how to set it up, how to use it. Very, very easy. And it comes in a very ergonomic, rechargeable. You have a USB cable to recharge it. It's a standard USB cable. And you have this very sl slim, easy, lightweight, probably 50 grams, um, dosimeter and what it has that is fantastic is on one side you have the detection system which can detect the atmospheric uh, radiation level such as any dosimeter will do also you can put it on a on something and it will act as a Geiger counter but more interestingly is that it has a solar panel which adds and keeps the batteries charged especially if you keep it on the, the mode, or there are several modes, but if you keep it on the detection mode, it will keep detecting the radiation in the atmosphere in your area, so that if there is fallout, um, you will detect passively. And this is great because also you can, so you have different functions. You can program this thing to a level that you decide Okay, if it goes above 100 microsieverts per hour, I want an alarm to, to beep, to sound. Because obviously, for example, in where I live, the, the, the normal level, if I go back, is, is between 10 and 50. That's normal. I live in the mountains. There is natural radiation. That's pretty normal. Um, so I can set, I can program the, the level. And, um, and of course, you can also check the accumulative level of your uh, radiation and you can see the history and of course you have the the setup of the time so that it can figure out how much radiation you accumulate because it's a, it's a cumulative radiation that actually hurts you can measure how much there is per hour but it's how much you accumulate over a lifetime 
how many x-rays, how many times you visit Chernobyl, how many times you are in a nuclear fallout place, hopefully never. And, uh, and certainly this is the perfect tool because it's easy, it's lightweight, you put it in your bag, you put it in your house, you leave it on with the light, it keeps analyzing the radiation in the air. So they really de designed a very neat project. A product. Uh, I love it. It's easy, easy to use, and you can use it and forget it, or forget it and use it when needed. It's really good. So I put the link down so you can check it out. I'm sure you will like it. Check out the other products they have. I think for anyone who wants to be prepared, you need to have a little bit of what they have. Uh, again, in the book, I also put the link of the book just in case you, you, you don't know about it. But I, we explain in the book, and I, I co-wrote it with a specialist, of course, a specialist from the French anti-terrorist um, nuclear, radiological, biological, and chemical warfare uh, group to um, to check how you how you survive, how you prepare yourself for biological pandemics, real ones, how you survive from nuclear nuclear fallout, uh, nuclear war, etc., etc. So this is uh, a must read, I think. But more importantly, the tools that Mira produces are are really tools that you can use. So not everyone needs uh, a gas mask, of course. You don't, you don't necessarily need it unless you live near a chemical plant or, or, or re really near a target, in which case you have to maybe go through an uh, area which has problems, which is contaminated. But the, this, this lightweight and easy to use dosimeter is what everyone should, should, should have to have an alarm, to be aware that now there is something that happens. Once again, the governments, governments may not tell you that something has happened until it's way too late and until you've been contaminated to a sickness level that is going to be very difficult for you or for your kids or for your family. So think about you, think about them, think about how much we distrust the government. And this is a, an alarm system to know if you are in a safe place. It costs about 200 bucks. A bit more it's it's really one of the best tools i've seen in the last 15 years anyways prepare yourself check out the links and i'll see you around take care